Hello, I'm Dr Joe Bray. I'm a reader in language and literature in the School of English. And I'm going to talk about how feminism impacts my research. Although I don't class myself usually as a feminist critic, a lot of my research is involved with uh, sort of negating stereotypical differences between male and female authors and readers that have arisen in critical um, literature. One example is that I've looked in detail at perceptions of female reading in the 18th century and a lot of uh, conduct books from that period uh, portray female reading as somehow more uh, impressionable and susceptible to influence and more passive than male reading in the period and that might be a perception that still lingers in a 21st century society. My work and that of other critics uh, demonstrates though, that I think uh, female reading is just as active and creative as male reading in this period and that differences between the two really don't exist. Another, another aspect of my research is looking at uh, Jane Austen and a stereotypical perception of her as a female writer is that she uh, has no sort of conscious, makes no conscious attempts to uh, improve her style, she just writes effortlessly because she's a woman. Uh, and I think again this is quite a prejudicial, uh, stereotypical way of thinking about female authors. And my work, and again that of other people, is concerned with demonstrating that like male authors she works very hard, she's a craftswoman, she works hard to improve her style, to revise it and to improve it. So again I'm trying to suggest that boundaries between male and female uh, authors and readers uh, need to be broken down and uh, Something. Stop.